Okay, today I'm gonna be starting some bacon that I helped some friends harvest a couple of hogs, and this is a fresh pork belly from one of those hogs. And normally I just create my own here, but today I'm gonna be using Blue Ribbon Hickory Bacon Cure from Walton's Inc. And we're gonna give that a go and see how that tastes. So I have 6.8 pounds of fresh pork belly, and I did the calculations and it's 2.2 ounces of cure for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that rubbed in and then we'll let this cure for a week in the refrigerator and then we'll go ahead and rinse it off, smoke it. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub this cure in, get it rubbed in all over. It's most important to get this all in, rubbed into the wherever the meat, you can see the meat coming through. It's not as important on the fat cap side as it's not going to soak through that fat cap, but it will add flavor to it. So we we'll want to put some there, but the majority of it needs to go on this side where the meat is. Okay, now that I have this all rubbed in, I'll go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator and leave it for about a week. And then we'll go ahead and get it out, rinse it off and smoke it. Okay, so the bacon's been curing for a week now. I'm gonna go ahead and get it pulled out of the refrigerator here. I'm gonna rinse it off, put it back in the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow I will go ahead and smoke it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this soak for 20 minutes, dump the water out, let it dry off a little bit, and then I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, give it one more quick rinse, and then uh, set it over there in the pan and let it sit overnight to, to dry out and then be ready to smoke starting in the morning. Okay, it's early the next morning. It's just sun's not quite up yet. You can hear the birds singing. There's a woodpecker over there in the forest hammering away on a tree. So I'm gonna smoke the, the bacon today. 
and what we're going to do is there's several stages to this so we'll start off at 120 degrees for an hour wait for the smoker to get warmed up went ahead and pulled the bacon out of the refrigerator show you all the different stages as we go along and then also have it in the description here's the bacon i went ahead and pulled it out of the refrigerator let it warm up a little bit so that it won't be quite so cold when it goes into the smoker okay smoker is up to temp it's up to 120 degrees so we're gonna go ahead and get this bacon put in there and get it going i'm gonna put it in fat cap up and let it rock for an hour in here <clears throat> and then we'll go to the next step Well, the hour's just about up, and so I'm going to go ahead and get some wood chips put in here in the tray and get it in so they can start heating up so we can start the next hour. Okay, the first hour's up. I went ahead and bumped up the Temperature setting to 135, so it's going to take it a little while to get up to temp, but I'll just give you a quick look at the pork belly after one hour at 120 degrees. Like the fat's starting to melt just a little bit, but not a whole lot going on just yet. All right, it's been an hour, so now it's time to push the temperature up to 150 for the next hour. All right, another hour's passed, so I'm gonna push the temperature up to 165. All right, uh, another hour has passed. Uh, it's time to push the temperature up to 180 degrees. Alright, the bacon has reached an internal temperature of 138, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I'm going to stick it in an ice bath for about 20 minutes or so, just to make sure that temperature doesn't continue to go up. Then I'll let it sit out in the kitchen for an hour or two to continue to cool down. And then I will place it in the refrigerator, get it nice and cool, and make it easier to slice, fry it, and give it a taste. I'll go ahead and get this pulled out of here now. And turn the smoker off. Looks like bacon. Okay, this has been sitting in the ice bath. It's cooled off. The temperature is no longer continuing to rise. It's starting to fall, so I'm going to go ahead and just let this sit out, cool down some more, and then place it in the refrigerator to cool overnight before slicing. Okay, so the time has finally come to slice this bacon up and then we'll fry some up and give it a try. See what it's like. Square it up here a little bit. Should be tasty. I don't know if you can see it here in the video, but the grains of this meat are running this way. So that's why I'm slicing it this way, across the grain. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the frying pan and see what this tastes like. So 
today while I'm frying this up, I'm using my carbon steel frying pan. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off of here. All right, it's time to finally give this a try. It's been a little over a week since this whole process started. It takes a little time, but hopefully it's worth it. Yep, that's good. Took a second there for the flavor to hit me, but that definitely is worth the effort. Thanks for sticking with me through this, and keep on coming back. Subscribe, like, share, you know, all the, the drill, but thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.